Okay. Let's play a count of three. One, two, three. Arise, O Compatriots, Nigeria's own obey, to serve our Father's land with all our strength and faith. That day of our heroes past shall never be in vain. To serve with heart and might, one nation found in freedom, peace and unity. Thank you immensely for first making it to Japan today and secondly for making us realize one of the greatest challenges this mission has faced and Nigerians in Japan have been facing for many years now. And thank you most sincerely that uh, your appointment has uh, put to rest uh, numerous letters, telephone calls, and personal visits to Nigeria to make sure that this important mission, because I consider this mission to be very important to Nigeria, uh, begins to operate as a normal and full-fledged mission. Because without immigration here, uh, I think that um, the mission cannot be said to be complete. A uh, situation where people will have to travel to Nigeria to obtain passport, or a situation where they have to go to other countries in Asia, even smaller countries, uh, was really telling on us as if this mission is not important to Nigeria. So we thank you, and uh, by extension, which are, these are, should have said first, congratulate you for a well-deserved appointment mm -hmm. as Minister of Interior of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that you have been put in charge of the Minister of Interior. And we are beginning to see uh, your handwork. This is the first time a Minister of Interior will come to Japan to visit us here. Can, can we? We have <laughs> Uh, we thank you very much. So, if I may just a little bit uh, give you a, a background to the Nigerians we have here. Um, we have registered with the embassy about 5,500 Nigerians. But we know that some of us are reluctant in registering with the embassy, but we are appealing to them, it's for their own good to register. So the registration of Nigerians in Japan is still ongoing. And please, uh, President of the Union, appeal to your people. It is in their own interest that they register with the, with the mission. So please, so 8,000, uh, that is the estimate. Now, Many of our men and women are doing very, very well in this country. They are employers of labor in this country. And um, I can mention just a few. Uh, please, if I mention you, just stand up for recognition. I start with the president, uh, Naji. <laughs> Naji, who is uh, an industrialist. Uh, he is a, a city miner, as he calls himself. He calls himself Oba Miner. Oba Miner. Uh, he is into um, recycling. Recycling of rare metals. Recycling of rare metals. Okay. That's what he does, and he's well known in Japan. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Copper mining. Copper mining. Copper mining. Copper mining. Copper mining. Yes. It, it, it takes scraps yeah. and removes. Okay, essential. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Metal 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 metal. Metal. Yeah, platform. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
capture, it searches one central database in Abuja before it is issued. It's very important. And also, it is important for you to know that it is going to be subject to approval. The, uh, the applicant uh, uh, finger in this system, the biometric, when it goes, it goes to office, search, it approves, or it rejects. So anytime you have cases, we have some cases we did intervention, you will hear office reject. Because it went and searched the database and found out that you have another password. So it will not issue. It will not issue. But it goes into Africa, it's a problem. And also, uh, multiple passwords is not possible. We have a single database and it can be retrieved for query. So we can do a lot of query with it. There is no proxy acquisition. You cannot be away and you get a password. You must sit there and pass it. In the olden days, you can collect password photograph. Am I correct? Yes. Some people send photograph home yes. and they get a password. It is not possible. If anybody tells you he can do that, forget about it. He's going to forge a password for you. We had cases where people send photograph. What they did for you? Forgery. There is no passport you can issue in proxy. It has to be in situ. Okay? That's the issue. And the application are then online. We encourage people to pay, apply online. So that we reduce the quantum. Means I will tell you his dreams of what we can do to make sure we reduce. But also payment to be online. Very important that you must pay online. Don't carry, don't bring cash to the mission. Okay. Uh, whenever a passport is issued, you must return the old password to the customer. Even if the office are due to shed nature of job, but they have always you must cancel the old password, mm. and it is cancelled without prejudice, which means your visas will continue in the old password. Uh, is allowed. In many, many of us travel with two passwords, not because we like two passwords, because our old visa is in the old password. Uh, also, use the British style of writing. We, we use, when we started the e password, we had a lot of challenge. You know, the American, you write your month first, then you write date. What is allowed is the British, the date of birth, the month, then the year. This is very important. Uh, so that you don't tell, ah, I am American, I don't, no, 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 no. <laughs> it is the British side we're using. It's very important. One, try getting additional password. This will be more complicated, as I said. It's very important. No? Application will be rejected. Also, using other credit card can be very dangerous. So, tell migrants who are around who, who they don't have a credit card, they should not go to one corner and begin to get one Nigerian who said he will get credit card. It can be dangerous. It could be a stolen card. It could be a card used in criminality. Mm -hmm. So they, once they see that payment, it, they will arrest you. So it's better to use your credit card or embassy. I would recommend, recommend embassy to, to use that as possible. Also, you cross check your database before you leave. I said most people check only their pictures. It's very interesting. Even your children, when you bring children to capture, they are busy looking at their picture. Even the parents to see whether she's, the child is beautiful. <laughs> they don't look at the content. Mm -hmm. so, so please cross check data. It's very important, not pictures. Check spelling, arrangement of names is very important. People take arrangement is name. When you have three names, you have to arrange them properly. There is given name, there is surname, there is a middle name. Those things have to be arranged properly. Because arrange, re arrangement of is also a big problem. You may think it's a light issue, but it's a big problem. If you miss up arrangement of your name, it's going to be a problem. So make sure it, it does. you try to collect your password in person. Uh, and do not staple your passport. This is very important advice. Many people staple their passport with a stapler. If you do that, you have punched it off, isn't it? The, the, the data in it, the, 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 the antenna in it, that is red, is at the cover. So when you punch it, you have punched your passport like So don't, don't, please don't. Well, in conclusion, I would like you to tell you that the future is here. We have moved. Uh, you are aware before I mentioned that uh, the 10 figures uh, is the one we are producing in Japan. We are integrating payment. Uh, we will soon handle emergency travel certificate. It will be also a temporary passport instead of the emergency travel we give to Nigeria in the paper. <coughs> more issuing centers, more prone offices. We want to remove missions. We already, I think, the process has gone far. We want to remove all issues from missions. We want them to be away, yes? No need to come to the embassy to get a passport or visa. It doesn't make sense. Uh, remember what happened in London. 
where somebody went and broke the lances. That man had already issued him a password. He should just to come and collect it. He came there. So the future will be go and get your visa, your passport applied somewhere. Missions will only produce it and deliver. So that if you, if somebody wants to break glass, you can break glass in the Japanese territory, isn't it? Yeah. The police will handle it. But if it's embassy, he thinks he has to win you. That will be the future. And uh, also, I want to tell you, we have uh, we have introduced a ten-year enhanced passport. We'll upgrade this system. We'll upgrade this, this system. Uh, is not ten years. We will upgrade it because if you can't issue it without biometric visa, I without need number. We feel if we introduce it, it will be a problem. Sorry. This one has no need number. The 10 year password is gradually being rolled out. You can't have it without national identity number. So, anywhere we are introducing it, we'll bring national identity number to be around. We have only rolled it in Abuja, in uh, Ipoi, in Kano. We are going to London anytime. London will be the first foreign mission we we'll get it, but also there is need. And next Japan. Yes. And would upgrade, it's just an upgrading, but we don't want to introduce it without facility for national identity. Yeah. If we do that, that field for national identity is a compulsory field. The officer cannot pass it and he cannot submit. And you know what I mean as an ICT officer. So the 10 year pass has been introduced already. It is good for diaspora because you can stay 10 years without coming to the embassy. Yes. Yes. It's a good thing to do. So this is what we have done. I don't want to take much of your time. Uh, I can say that we are available online. Anything you want to get about us, you know, is that just like the National Day for one country I attended. He said anything you want about our country is on our website. So he didn't say anything else, Ambassador. So I would, so <laughs> say, I would say everything you need about us, if you want to complain about us, if you want to know our product, if you want to know where we are going, check our website at the www.immigration.gov.ng. Uh, thank you. <coughs> Well uh, prepared and uh, well delivered uh, technical presentation as well. Now we we'll take some good news lessons. Uh, please, two minutes. Two minutes, please. Just two minutes. We start with uh, the President and the President. You have two minutes. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, let me stand on the existing protocol. Um, and with due respect, to recognize two persons that are here today, probably, that I didn't know them well. Uh, the Junior Association Chairman, he owns a school here, and uh, he is a writer. What school? What school? What school? I have a school in in Japan, Chiba, very close to the airport. Yeah, what English school. English school. Yes, that's a good one. We have an English school there. Yes, an author. Is an author. I wrote too. many books English. on English. Okay. I've already been telling him to be coming out very much on the ambassador. Yes. What is your um, name, please? Uh, Eric Olusegun Thompson. Thompson. Yeah. Um, then the next person quickly is uh, the other state dean and chairman, uh, Mr. Kingsley. He is uh, an IT fellow here and uh, the other state chairman and chairman. Thank you very much. Um, His Excellency, Honorable Minister of the Federal Ministry of Interior, Nigeria, Governor Rauf Desochi, and the rest of our The Controller General of Immigration, His Excellency, Mohammed Ibabandele. The Nigerian Ambassador to Japan is Excellency Mohammed Regan Aisa, members of the Nigerian Diplomatic Corps, representative of the Japanese government, the lady has come in fact, has come National Vice Presidents of the Nigerian Union Japan, the NIDO Japan, the Nigerian Chamber of Commerce, uh, the State Union, uh, the State Union Chairman, uh, fellow Nigerians and Compactors, distinguished gentlemen. May I on behalf of the Nigerian Union Japan welcome all and Sunday to this August and historic event. When I got the information that the newly posted ambassador of Nigeria to Japan, His Excellency Professor Muhammad Kanaisa, back in the days was a former scholar of Hokkaido University in Japan, I was certainly confident that something different 
things Napoleons could not do will definitely happen during this war. After that delay, I hesitantly and I, I seek for an appointment for a brief meeting with him, which he granted. If I can remember, my humble request to him on behalf of the Nigerians abroad here was to inform him that the most crucial problem that we face, which requires urgent attention, is the lack of transport printing machine in Tokyo. And his answer to me was, Inshallah, it will be done. Fellow Nigerians and compatriots, today, Inshallah. We are here. <laughs> 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 we have a pleasure our prayers. A three time child of joy for his excellence. Hip, 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 hip. Hooray. Hip, 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 hip. Hooray. Your voice is low. Hip, 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 hip. Hooray. Inshallah. <laughs> it will be pertinent to acknowledge that a tree can never make a forest. This historic feat must have been achieved by the unsung efforts of many. Therefore, our everlasting thanks goes to the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Muhammad Buhari, the Interior Affairs Minister, His Excellency Yogwene Rahouf, and the Soji, and the uh, Rebe Sola, sorry about my pronunciation. You got it right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And the Controller General of Immigration, His Excellency Muhammad Mamandere, and to all those who were involved in one way or the other, to make this dream come true, we will be forever grateful. Thank you. With the possession of an enthusiastic spirit of service and an altruism, we have been able to build a, a Nigerian community that will be timeless in its relevance here in Japan. Let me inform you that by this exercise, you have saved Nigeria and Nigerians billions of dollars, which will be redirected into our national coffers through the private sector enterprise. <laughs> Instead of, instead of spending them on air ticket fares only to come to them, do passport to Nigeria. Hope I am not going to be seen as Oliver Twist, who always seek for more, by requesting with the greatest humility once again that a provision should be made to enable us to register and check for our national identity card here in our channel. Paradoxically, passport minting machine dances in resonance with the latest ECOWAS e passport, making it indispensable. To each other. With the possession of an enthusiastic spirit of service and altruism again, I am driven by what I can give to the world and never by what I am to get from it. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this all important and historic event and please show no hesitation in offering your ideas on how we can achieve a more formidable Nigerian community in Japan that will be upholding the honor and glory of our dear nation, thereby benefiting our two countries and the world. The future has also now begun on us to salvage its remnants. Failure would be catastrophically collective. It has always been, by the way, never individual, but we have failed to realize this because we have been trapped in the maze of cognitive bias and finger pointing. Now, posterity begun on us, the ruin of good purpose to rescue the moment. Finally, with the spirit of devotion and patriotism, I wish their excellencies on the Raoul for this search, and the and Honorable Mohammed, of course, he said he's not like being called Honorable, sorry about that. Honorable Mohammed, mm -hmm. and their entourage, they please and stay in the land of the rising sun, Japan, and they safe journey back to their respective destinations. Long live our president, long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria, long live Japan, and long live everyone here. Thank you very much. As our ambassadors at large in this peaceful and friendly country, we must exhibit at all times good conduct, character, nobility, and dignity. Nigeria's diplomatic relations with Japan began officially in 1964. Through trade between those, trade between, let me read that again. Nigeria's diplomatic relations with Japan began officially in 1964, though trade between us has been traced to as early as 1914. Today, Japan is one of our largest trading partners with Japanese products ranging from automobile, electronics, to kitchen knife. These are very popular brands. And when I was writing this, 
I remember as, a, as an ocean, there was this uh, knife, kitchen knife called Okapi. And that's why I had to put kitchen knife. So it was in every home. Yeah. Okapi. Yeah. Yes. I'm talking of 62, 63. Yeah. It was everywhere. Brown, brown, and blue. Yeah. Very, very hard steel. Yeah. Then you, they, they wrote Okapi. Yeah. Well, it was a fish at us. So we have we have had this long term relationship with Saint Japan in our head. Japanese overseas assistance to Nigeria is is quite commendable. This bureau for international aid in those days, Japan fisher uh, prominently as 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 nation that will grant Nigeria as well as preserved scholarship. Mm. Their own was postgraduate. Many of you who are students are enjoying Japanese government scholarship. It is therefore necessary that we work towards improving relations between us by a bit of good conduct. It is important to state that this new visa and passport regime connects with MIDAS. MIDAS is Migration Information and Data Analysis System which is linked with the Interpol database. This simply means criminals and their affiliates can no longer use our system anywhere in the world to perpetrate their crimes. You can run now, you can never hide. Go and take 1,000 1, uh, passports. Since you cannot change your face, you cannot change your biometrics, Forget it. You can only run, you cannot hide. Ah, yeah. Even the extent to which you can run, it's no longer much. But a kilometer now, you can't do more than a kilometer before you are caught. And I must add, we are working, I've told Mr. Fisher, and I've told the CG. We're not limiting the biometrics to just fingerprints anymore. We are advancing to iris. So that as you are walking the streets, in nations where the facility is such that it's everywhere, like in Dubai, walking the street, your eye, you cannot cover your, your, your eye. Even the Muslims who dress in veil don't cover their eyes. So the iris will be caught by the iris scanners and uh, prone to your exposed. We are proudly adopting technology to secure our land and join the global efforts at preventing human trafficking and illegitimate activities. Hence what we are doing. This is a laudable event, timely and in sync with the aspiration of our administration to improve governance and quality of life of Nigerians everywhere. That will, at least that will give him a choice. Absolutely. You are taking two shots. Yes, Let him check and say, I prefer this one. Don't decide for him. And that will give him his own personality and dignity. In, in the, I think what we'll do, we'll provide there is a screen we'll provide in the front, okay. uh, on this side. Yeah. So what we'll do, you will make sure we we'll provide the screen. Yeah. So that you will just, just fine. That's, that's, all, that's what I want to tell you. see what's going on. Thank you, that's a good, a good approach to yeah. Let yeah. him choose which of the shots, which of the photographs you have taken, you will want to use. So that next, we are going to the signature. Jump print or signature? Oh, so let's do the fingerprint first. Has he done it? Fingerprint. Has he done fingerprint? We are about to do it. Okay, please do it. So your four left fingers. Put it together. Yes. 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 When will you be able to do the iris capture? No, we, we, we can at any time Before incorporate it. It's, it's a question of... Incorporate it though. It's, it's good. It's whether, a question whether of the is. cost associated with iris. Okay. Mm -hmm. The thumbs so together. together. Let's know what it is. So, 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 so that we... Yeah. Complete we have a complete capture. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. I know I'm just talking about right now. Yeah. Let's upgrade to iris. Okay. Okay. Let's upgrade so, sir, we have captured these uh, ten fingers, yeah. and um, uh, all the uh, measures have been taken. So, I will do a printout for him to see what we have done. And oh, very good. Brilliant.
Вот один надел, Is it an issue? 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 Is it an Yeah, maybe not me. I don't know. It is bringing back his data back. So if you say his data of birth is not correct, he will say no. It's the issue because he has, has been, he has to follow the process. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So after this, I've done the submission. It's next is in the production. The Have process. you submitted it? Yes, sir. Good. So we'll go to the He's behind. behind. So please put it down. He's behind there. Open the door. Open that door. Where is someone? Don't interrupt now. Let them direct more. The older had a passport that has expired and we therefore need a release. I was there when it began this process less than 30 minutes ago. And under 15 minutes, a new passport was processed and issued for me to not present to him. It's my, it's my great pleasure to have the honor of doing this and to let you all know that our nation is actually advancing in the adoption of technology to make things like this seamless and easy. It's not limited to passport issuance or the issuance. We are equally in this place equipped to issue biometric visa to whoever is interested in visiting our country, either for leisure or business. We are open for investment. We are open for tourism. I am using this opportunity to announce to the whole world that obtaining a Nigerian visa is no longer with any difficulty. So as I'm presenting this reissued passport to our citizen Mobuko Ukei Pios, I'm announcing the world that Nigeria is using technology to provide passports and visa to willing and ready citizens and foreigners who want to do business with us, who want to visit us for leisure. May God advance the interest of Nigeria and bless our kind, favorable, and committed investors. Thank you. Can I, can I say that, uh, Minister, we, we did additional improvement. In this passport, you will see his previous passport. Uh, this means that even if you throw away your passport, you tell people you don't have a passport, the current passport you are going to have will contain your previous passport. It's, see your previous passport, A00835741. So once they put it in the system, they will see your previous record. So there is no need to throw a password again. Yes. And then this is what you should, we should do when we engage the Nigerian community, that even if you throw it, your previous password will still appear. Yeah. We still have the yeah. record. Yeah. 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 We still have the information. <laughs> That we have collected. <laughs> the figure print is for him to, to be registered as a person whose password has been issued and has collected it by himself. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>